Today the ability of the US military to reach a large-scale fight and sustain itself once deployed is dependent on a little over 100 ships. Among them, 45 Ready Reserve Force, 15 ships for surge operated by the Military Sealift Command and some 50 US-flagged commercial ships that are part of the Maritime Security Program. In an era of great power competition, the US military has had to relearn a number of strategic facts. Perhaps the most important of these is the central role that Sealift has played in America's ability to project power abroad. During the Cold War, the US was able to not only deploy large forces overseas but move and sustain entire armies around the world. But today, 90% of U.S. forces are based in the continental United States and over the past three decades, the U.S. Sealift fleet has been allowed to decline precipitously. If the United States is to remain a global power and deter threats abroad, it must have the ability to reliably move equipment and supplies by sea from U.S. ports to distant parts of the world.